HIV does not make people dangerous to know. So you can shake their hands and give them a hug. Heaven knows they need it. Because I actually discovered the cure for AIDS, okay? If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with the woman, even both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death, their blood shall be upon them. And that, my friend, is the cure for AIDS. There is a general preconception around HIV and HIV positive people. We tend to think that it is something that won't affect us. It is still seen as a taboo subject, and because of this, people are uneducated around this topic. But every year, thousands of people are diagnosed as HIV positive in the UK. Wales only has a small percentage within the UK, but there is still a lot more that can be done here in Wales to help reduce the stigma around HIV. The government information films of the 1980s are often blamed as one of the causes of the stigma around HIV and AIDS due to their scare tactics approach. HIV was wrongly seen by the public as a disease that only affected the homosexual community and this is something that is still wrongly believed by many people today. I wanted to know more about what HIV actually is and get a deeper understanding of what living as a HIV person means. So I've come to the Cardiff offices of Terence Higgins Trust, a charity that works to educate people about HIV and push for better treatments and tests here in Wales and throughout the UK. Why is it important for the public to be more knowledgeable about this disease? So it's really, really important that the public um, have the knowledge and the information um, around HIV uh, because there still is so much stigma and so much myth um, surrounding HIV today, especially here in Wales. Um, so you know, the more knowledge that people have, the more education people have, you know, the more we can start to really combat that stigma, and we can then, you know, amplify the voices of people who are living with HIV. It means people can come forward, feel confident to disclose their status, and not live in fear that people are going to reject them or discriminate against them. One of the reasons for the lack of knowledge around HIV is that it's not compulsory for it to be taught in all schools. I wasn't taught about HIV, nor the other risks that I as a gay person face sexually. I've come to the Senev to talk with some of the people who represent us politically here in Wales to ask them their views on how the Welsh Government is tackling HIV. Um, do you think that the Welsh and the UK governments are doing enough to tackle the stigma behind HIV? Um. I can't really answer that in that I don't know mm -hmm. all of the initiatives that are going on everywhere. Um, but I think it's about changing the culture of the nation. And we as a nation need to just become far more tolerant and far more tolerant of a whole raft of, uh, of things. And so it's about teaching people that being a grown-up citizen of the United Kingdom 
is about being a tolerant individual, um, about understanding that where you may not agree with someone's opinions or what they stand for, or even what they are, that's actually not your place. You just accept people. You just say, that's your life. You live it. You don't have to be hostile. You don't have to be aggressive. And it's just about getting that mature sort of acceptance and debate. Um, and that's what governments can do, about changing our, our, our view on life and making us realise that, and I come back to something I mentioned earlier about fear, that we don't need to be fearful of change, we should just embrace it and, and go with the flow. Do you, uh, do you support a more inclusive uh, sexual education in schools, including LGBTIQA plus inclusive education? Yes, I do. Um, but I think that we have to be very careful about this because it's not just schools who've got to do that education. Um, I think it is, it is all of us, and we've got to do it in a way that brings people along with us because these are really radical changes when you think over the last 20 30 40 years where we've all moved um, we've got to take the public with us you cannot just sort of you know say to everyone this is how it's all going to be from this point forward so my ch my children who are 13 and 15 grow up knowing no different um, my grandparents you know looked at people of color who came to this country and went oh my gosh where have they come from you know society changes and um, we've got to make sure that we take people with us and we've got to educate people but we've got to educate them in a way where people don't get frightened about it because if we look at any of the great conflicts that are going on in the world a lot of them result, um, stem from fear and people are frightened of the issue that's being discussed so we need to educate kids at school but above that the government health boards and members of the community need to go out there and explain in, I think, a, a, uh, in a collegiate way that, hey, guess what? It's not just binary. There's lots of different ways that we can all express our individuality and we should be accepting of them. Before leaving Terence Higgins Trust, I was asked if I wanted to make use of their testing facilities. They, I was offered either going to one of their testing evenings or taking a test at home. I decided to take a test at home just to show how easy and simple it is. So I've got the pack by here. Inside we have the test itself. So this is just like a little test tube and it's got the solution that uh, Sarah mentioned in the interview earlier. We've also got the lance to prick my finger and you also get a little plaster plus to put over the little prick itself. And I was also given a little instruction sheet, which is what I am following on how to do. So I'm going to now uh, perform the test and just uh, film it as we go along. So first things first, it says to remove the buffer pot and just place it to the side. Next, it's time to prick my finger. Is there a specific one? Nope. So this is going to hurt. Squeeze the blood. Absorb the blood. And pierce into the solution. The test takes 5 to 15 minutes to get ready, so I've decided to make a cup of tea while I wait. Getting tested is always something that scares me, and I think that is why I'm constantly put off by the thought of getting it done. But even though I practice safe sex, it is important to ensure that you get regularly tested. 
that it's one red line and according to the um, instructions that come with it, one red line means HIV negative. A total of 88,769 people, including 315 children aged under 15, received HIV specialist care in 2015. The number of people accessing specialist care has steadily grown over the last decade. People living with HIV who were exposed to heterosexual sex are the largest group at 48.2%. Though those exposed through sex between men is a close second. But there are many other methods of infection, such as drug use or even being born with it. HIV is not a gay disease, and it is not something that you need to be scared of. HIV is something that can affect any of us, but it is time for us to throw away any stigma we hold and look at it with fresh eyes.